Welcome to your fasting devotional. I'm Susie and I'm your children's pastor here. I'm super excited to share with you today. I wanted to share a time that my husband and I were fasting and how God came through in a big, big way. We were fasting because we were living in a house. We bought this house with the intentions of doing an addition. But as time went on, we had the architectural plans, we had everything ready, but we didn't have peace about the addition anymore. And so we said, this fast, we're going to fast selfishly for ourselves. And so what we did is we said, God, if this is the house we stay in, tell us. But if it's somewhere else, tell us. We'll hear you, we'll listen, and we'll do it. So we were fasting for 30 days, and God spoke to us. It's crazy. God told me, knock on the door of that house. You're not gonna believe it, I knocked on the door, something I've never done before. I knocked on the door and 20 days later, we owned that house. God gave us more than enough, more than we even asked for, more than we could even imagine. We now live in that house and we're able to use it for many, many things. It's amazing, God spoke, we heard it, we did it and we've been blessed. That happened through the fast. Right now, I want to share a portion of scripture with you. It's actually part of my very favorite scripture. I love it, and I'll tell you why. This is it. We're going to go to Matthew 5, 1 through 10. And it says, Now, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountain and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are those pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness. The greatest thing about the scripture, how do you be blessed? You do what the scripture says. Be merciful, right? Do what God's word says, and it always comes with a blessing. Thank you guys so much. I've so enjoyed my time with you. Remember, ask God what you want. When you're fasting and you're praying, you are open to hearing from God. Ask Him. Don't fear it. Ask Him. Fast and pray. And God will hear you and He'll answer you. Thank you so much for our time today.